Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just one quick question that I think Senator Bledsoe uh, already asked, but I just want to make sure I understand. Are you saying that if somebody wanted to build a nursing home and accept only private pay or non-Medicaid patients, so their uh, services would be paid for by the VA or, or, or some other source, private pay, insurance, whatever, they would not be allowed to open a nursing home? Uh, no, ma'am, we're not saying that. They would have to review and look at existing bed capacity within the state and utilize that existing capacity. And I might add that while they may look at or focus on private pay as a nursing facility, they still fall under the federally mandated guidelines that uh, regulate the oversight uh, of each of our facilities or also long-term care. Even for facilities that are private pay, still has the obligation of going in and providing federal the monitoring under the federal guidelines to ensure that these facilities are meeting quality of care requirements and uh, providing uh, uh, the needs. But at this time, they would have to look at the existing uh, capacity uh, within the state and utilize that to assist them in expanding their operations. So you're saying then that if, if I just wanted to open a nursing home and only accept private pay patients, I couldn't just do that. I'd have to go through all of this research. Well, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, when you open up a, you know, when you have a nursing home, and I don't want to get too deep in the weeds here, you say that I'm just going to be doing, uh, you know, private pay. At any time that facility could make the decision, uh, we cannot bind them, but any time that facility could make the decision that they wanted to accept, uh, you know, Medicaid residents or individuals that qualify for Medicaid. And so as a result of that, we still, while their focus may be private pay, we still have to make sure that we have a process in place uh, for managing that, uh, definitely encouraging uh, competition, definitely increasing quali uh, quality and encouraging quality of care, but also we must have a process for oversight and for managing uh, this at the same time uh, within the state of Arkansas. And we have to ensure that those operators uh, can meet and maintain uh, the federal survey and certification requirements for which we as Arkansas for Human Services also long-term care require for maintaining uh, to meet our uh, uh, certification requirements with the uh, with the federal government. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Seeing none, we thank you very much.